A beautiful logo animation will help your video stand out from the others. It represents your brand and it shows professionalism. I'm not sure if that's a real word. You're very professional! Anyway, nowadays it's not simple to stand out, but by using a logo animation, you will increase your chances by a lot. So, let's open up Premiere. First, import your logo. I'm using this Premiere icon, but you can use whatever you want. We're gonna create an outline of this logo, so we can transition from the logo to the text. To do that, go to the toolbar and click the text tool. Then click somewhere in the program monitor and type in a matching word with your logo. For me, this will be Premiere, because we're gonna extend from the PR to the rest. Now we're gonna customize the text and to do that go to the window menu on top and find essential graphics panel. Here you can change all the properties, for example the font, to something like the text in your logo. Now grab the selection tool in the toolbar and head over to the program monitor and now simply align the text with the logo like this. Next we're gonna get rid of this part of Premiere to complete the logo. To do that go to the effect library and find the crop effect. Then drag it on the text layer. Now head over to the effects controls and find the effect. Select it and now the crop lines will appear in a program monitor. With the right side, crop the text layer so that only P and R is visible. Awesome, now we're gonna create the logo's outline. First make sure the text layer is selected. That way the outline will be created inside this layer. Now go to the toolbar and find the rectangle tool. Then head over to the program monitor and draw in a rectangle. If you hold down shift you will get a perfect square. Something like this. Now we only want the outline of this square and to do that we're gonna go back to the essential graphics panel. In here you can actually see the layers and effects we already already made, which is the text layer and the square. This right here is basically the inside of your graphic layer. To stay organized, click the layer and rename it to outline or something. Now select the rectangle right here and scroll all the way down to the bottom. Here disable the fill color and enable the stroke. Make sure that the color of the stroke is set to white. Then match the stroke to the same thickness as your logo. Now back in the program monitor, drag and adjust the white outline to match your logos. Alright, we're getting there. Now it's time to turn your logo into text. To do that, select the graphic layer and head over to the effect controls. Find the crop effect we created earlier and go to the right property. We're gonna animate this to let the text come in. To do that, click the stopwatch icon to set a keyframe. Then grab the playhead and move further in time. Now select the crop effect and in the program monitor, drag the right line to the right until the text is completely visible. Next, right click the first keyframe and find ease out, then select it. Now go to the last keyframe and right click it again and find ease in. This will ensure a smooth text review. That already looks amazing. Next, we're gonna extend the graphic layer around the logo so that the text fits inside. First, let's hide the Premiere logo for a second. Then find it in the effect controls and look for the pad property. Move the player to the moment where the crop effect from earlier starts moving. Then set a pad keyframe. Now move further in time until the text is completely visible. Now make sure the pad is selected and go to the program monitor. Adjust it until it fits nicely around the text. There's only one problem. We can't ease these keyframes because, yeah. Adobe. This means the shape layer won't extend smoothly. To fix that, we can match the movement by going frame by frame. Luckily, it's only 10 frames or something. Simply use the arrow key on your keyboard to move forward in time, and then adjust your pad until you're at the end. It won't take that long. And now the animation looks like this, which is very cool. Now, what is an intro animation without sound effects? Bit boring, to be honest. Well, on audio, you can actually find any type of sound effect in just a few clicks. Transitions, cinematic whooshes, subtle accents, and game sound effects literally anything. Audio is a music and sound effects library that literally levels up any creator's content. Oh, and they're also sponsoring this video. Thank you so much. They also have amazing sound effects collections, which can also make it extremely simple to find whatever you need. If you like sound effects, you're gonna love the incredible music library from Audio as well. You can choose between so many different genres, moods, types of instruments, and so much more. When I'm looking for background music for videos just like this one, I always click the instrumental button that makes browsing even easier. When I have nothing to do, I usually browse for more music and add it to my Premiere Basics playlist. That way, I don't need to spend time looking for music when I'm editing. Oh, and you can actually get 70% off of a full year subscription by using the code Premiere Basics. So if you want to level up your content, definitely click the link down below. And now back to Premiere. We're gonna make the text tilt away and turn into another word. To do that, make sure the graphic layer is selected. Now in the essential graphics, we can also drag effects inside. In the effects browser, find the basic 3D effect. Now drag it inside the graphic layer on top of the Premiere text layer. Now the basic 3D effect will only work on the text layer. Select it and go to the effect controls. Then in the effect, click the tilt stopwatch to create a keyframe. Then move a few frames forward and move the tilt forward just a little bit. Grab 
the playhead again and move further in time. Move the tilt property backwards until it's on minus 270 degrees. That way it will disappear slowly like this. Now right click the second keyframe and set it to ease out to make it super smooth. All right, now we're gonna transition into the second word and to do that, make sure the graphic layer is selected. Then grab the text tool again. Click somewhere in the program monitor and type in basics or whatever you need to type and position your text layer inside the box we created. Now we're gonna make this text come in using the basic 3D effect. Find it again in the effects library and drag it on top of the basics layer. Now there's one problem. This effect works not only on the basics layer, but also on all the other layers underneath it. To fix that, hold down control on your keyboard and select both the effect and the basics layer. Then click the folder icon on the bottom right. Now the effect will only work on layers underneath it inside this folder. All right, next select it and go back to the effect controls. Then move the playhead to the moment where the premiere text is gone. Right here, set the tilt to 90 degrees. Then click on the stopwatch icon. Next, grab the play it and move further in time. Then simply click the reset button and there you go. Now, of course, right click the last keyframe and choose ease in to make the animation smooth. That looks cool, but with motion comes motion blur. We're gonna add some to the tilt effect to make it smoother. To do that, go to the effects library and find the directional blur effect. Once you've found it, drag it on top of the premiere text layer. It's always smart to put everything that has something to do with the text layer inside a folder as well. That way the effects won't mess with stuff you might add in the future. Now to add the motion blur, make sure the effect is selected and go back to the effect controls. Now grab the play it and move to the moment that the text layer starts tilting. Set a blur length keyframe and go back to the play it. Then move to the moment where the text is completely gone. Now set the blur length to 45. The motion blur will now look like this. It's okay, but we want it to follow the tilt curve. To do that, right click the first blur length keyframe and choose ease out. There you go. Now we're gonna do the same with the word basics. Find the directional blur effect again and drag it on top of the text layer. Then select it and go to the effect controls. Grab the play it and move to the moment where the text will appear. Then set the blur length to 45. Now set a keyframe and go back to the play it. Move it to where the animation stops and set the blur length to zero. Then right click the second keyframe and choose ease in to make the animation smoother. There you go. That looks amazing. Now at the moment the word basics appears, I want the outline to disappear as well. You can do that by using the basic 3D effect and the directional blur effect again, following the exact same steps. Next, we're gonna transition the logo into the text. First, make the logo visible again by clicking the view toggle. Now we're simply gonna animate the opacity right before the logo starts expanding. Go to your clip in the timeline and hold control on your keyboard. Then click the line to set an opacity keyframe. Move further in time and set another one. Then drag the second one all the way down to zero. That way the logo will fade out like this. Awesome, now we're gonna create the final animation. Select everything in the timeline and right click it. Then choose nest. Call it animation or something and click on OK. Now in the effect library, find the transform effect. Drag it on the nested sequence. Head over to the effect controls and we're gonna use these properties to animate the logo. First, move the logo to the middle of the screen and then set a position and rotation keyframe. Now grab the play it and move back in time. Bring the logo all the way down until it's not visible anymore. Then set the rotation to something around minus 50. Now select the last keyframes and right click them. Then choose easy ease in. Hold on, we're almost there. Next up, set a position keyframe before the logo starts disappearing. Then grab the play it again and move forward until the blue logo is gone. Then move the position all the way to the left. This time set the first keyframe to ease out and the last one to ease in. And that's it, the animation looks incredible, but now it's time to work on your editing skills. So to continue the lesson, click the video right here on my left. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always, Stay creative.